the sin of covetousness. Covetousness is defined as follows, a strong wish to have something, especially something that belongs to someone else. Cambridge Dictionary. As with the other sins in this series, covetousness is not now regarded as sinful. In fact, it is often lauded as being ambitious and go-getting. However, in the Bible, it is a serious sin. In fact, many people feel that covetousness is the driver behind many other sins. The Tenth Commandment is, Thou shalt not covet. It is the last of the Ten Commandments. And it has been said that in the Bible, where there is a list, the last thing on the list is the key to the others. For example, in Proverbs 6, a list of six things is given that the Lord hates, but seven that are an abomination to him. The seventh on the list being a man who sows discord among brethren. This last one leads to the other things on the list, such as arrogance, lying and murder. Covetousness is not exactly the same thing as greed. Greed is wanting to have more than we need. Covetousness is specifically wanting to have something that belongs to someone else. We see this in the Tenth Commandment. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbour's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbour's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbour's. Jesus was asked by a lawyer to define who his neighbour was. Luke chapter 10 verse 29 But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbour? In answer to this, Jesus gave the parable of the Good Samaritan, showing that our neighbour is anyone we meet along the way. So we are not to covet anything that belongs to someone else. We are to respect private property. The result of covetousness is that we lose the concept of anything belonging to someone else. All boundaries are destroyed. The only thing that counts is whether we want something. All theft, adultery, fraud, extortion, envy and lust come out of covetousness. Alongside these sins come lying, hatred and murder. The Old Testament prophet Micah was greatly concerned with injustice towards the lowly, unjust business dealings, robbery, mistreatment of women. What was the root cause of this injustice? He gives us the answer. Micah chapter 2, verse 1-2 to two. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields and take them by violence, and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. In other words, the powerful took what they wanted from the weak for no other reason than that they wanted it and had the power to do it. This seems to be a sin that particularly incites the Lord's anger. God spoke of King, King David as a man after his own heart. Acts chapter 13 verse 22 And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Even David, though, incurred the Lord's anger by stealing another man's wife, which in turn caused him to bring about her husband's death. David had power and wealth and many wives of his own, but chose to steal a wife from one of his servants who only had one wife. As a result, the sword never departed from his house. 2 Samuel chapter 12 verse 10 Now therefore, the sword shall never depart from thine house, because thou hast despised me, and hast taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be thy wife. David repented of his sin, and there was forgiveness for him, despite the terrible consequences. There is always forgiveness for us when we truly turn away from our sins. However, somehow we as Christians seem to have turned us around to saying, 
about it, it is all right to sin because God will forgive us. As long as we think like that, we have not turned from the sin and cannot receive God's forgiveness. The New Testament repeatedly tells us not to deceive ourselves, but to lead holy lives. If you find this video interesting, you can find more information at prophecy-workshop.com. Thank you for listening.